Hey, I'm Patty from Alderman Farms, and I have a special delivery for Misty and Colby. We have had a great weekend. Uh, we were just going to have this video really to tell about uh, about what we wanted from this uh, the Stivers Harvest celebration. And uh, basically we, ha we wanted to kind of find out what people thought uh, and, and really kind of get some answers from them. So we asked two questions uh, uh, to just about everybody that we saw and we had a blast and we'll talk a little bit more about that. But what's the two questions that we asked? Well, we basically had, when we were having conversation with people, we basically would ask them, so what is your long-term goals in, in a year? What do you see on your homestead? How do you hope to grow changes that you um, want to make? And also what is coming together? What does that actually mean to you? What is the um, purpose of coming to events like this? So really, we would just kind of talk to people and get some feedback from them and several of the shots um we just kind of gave it over to them and let them talk so here you go we're actually on our way to the stivers homestead but it's like well it's it was, it's now about what 6 30. 6 30 their time our time 5 30. And we've been up since four. four, and all the kids are asleep, and they're all very dramatic this morning. Everybody's tired. I think they get it from their mama. So we're gonna, we're actually on the way now. I mean, we just went through Knoxville, so we're heading that way. Hopefully, it'll be daylight soon. I'm drinking this nasty coffee from uh, some kind of convenience store because I don't think they made it since yesterday. To save on money, Kelby and Misty and me and Tommy went in halves on the chickens. And so these are Cornish Rock chicks. And so we're going to split them. That way we got them. I think, I think we paid. Oh, I don't even remember what we paid. Misty will have to tell you that. But um, we saved money by splitting them anyway. And so it looks like they're all alive too. They usually, the reason I'm counting out mine is because they usually give an extra couple. Mm -hmm. And so now we each have 26. So if, just in case something happens to one, um, we have them. So uh, anyway, and these came from the chip hatch, hatchery. So 
anyway, there you have it. They're eating already and drinking. We didn't dip their beaks or anything, they just went right to it. So I want you to tell me, we're going to ask questions today of two things. What is your one year goal? It's okay. What I hope to plan to have by this next year, or what my goal is to save you conquer for one year. And then secondly, when we come to these events like HOA or like the Stivers or Root Nanny, whatever you go to, what do you think that we can accomplish as a goal? Or what do you personally want to accomplish from these kind of Well, coming, coming to these events, it's meeting people that have the same mindset, that they want to grow their own food, they want to be more self-sufficient, and it's like the people here don't think you're crazy because you True. put your chickens or right. milk a cow or whatever the <laughs> case may be. You know, Most of your friends look at you and think that, oh, I could never do that. How could you do that? But it's like, I know what it was fed, how it was treated, True. you know, where it came from. So that, that's our key thing for that. And um, a goal for next year, we're, we're, we're kicking around the idea of maybe raising uh, beef for meat or maybe uh, getting pigs for the first time. But we got a new RV, so that may go out the window for next year because we may be taking a trip to Alaska. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you anything. Beef cows you can keep in with one string. Pigs, they say that. We've not got to that comfortable. Say our pigs are going to stay in with that one string. Okay. But uh, beef cows are the easiest thing to, to manage, and then you can go wherever you want to go. My one year goal, we just bought our house in last December, so my one goal would be to expand my gardens and get a greenhouse built on it. That's an awesome plan. And I want all the chickens. <laughs> you'll get there, you'll get there though. That's an awesome plan. Yeah, but I'm trying to be smart, not not get all the chickens at once. That's right. We may have too many chickens. I might I might need a chicken coop first, oh. so that would be that would probably be smart. So yeah, is this your first time at an event like this? Yes. This is my very first event. Tell us what you think. I love it. I I love the community. It's it's just like nothing else. Like everybody just is friendly and you can tell everybody cares about everyone. So I'm really enjoying myself. It's an awesome, awesome thing to do to be able to come together and talk to people, learn from each other, and like she said, pretty much for us too is that community is such a key thing. Thank you so much. Thank you.
we're here with Jack from Freedom Homestead. We, I'm going to ask you the same questions I asked everyone else that we've talked to today. Okay. What would be your one year goal for this year? Say this time next year, what do you think you want to try to accomplish <laughs> yeah. in your yeah. homestead, but also um, what do you think benefits us coming to these conferences? Yeah. Okay. Well, so one year goal, one year goal, uh, definitely to get chickens because <laughs> I'm not going to be. Uh, my wife's going to be upset if we don't have chickens. <laughs> so, and we're working on that. So, yeah. hopefully, that will be very near future. Um, um, that's something else within the next years. We're going to expand our garden, try to get more raised beds. Hey, they're looking really good on your own board. So, I appreciate that. Um, and yeah, um, just getting together with you guys and, and going to more of these uh, gatherings, it. You know, it encourages me um, to meet other people that have the same interest and, you know, when, when I'm trying to do something, talk to them and, you know, they give me pointers. It encourages me. Maybe I'm ready to give up on, on you know, no, I don't want chickens. And then I talk to a bunch of other people and they're like, oh well, yeah, let's do chickens because they're, they're doing successful at it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll also get to go to more of these get togethers next year. What do you think the best thing is? Is it just the camaraderie or do you think it's the speaking engagement or the speaking style? What do you think well, is your favorite? Um, I think it's it's the people. It's it's meeting a lot of like minded people. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of knowledge that's shared. A lot of knowledge that's shared. I really appreciate that. But I think just meeting people and becoming friends with them. Um, since we've started this journey with homesteading and with our YouTube channel, some of the people we've met along the way are now some of our best friends. So it's, um, I think that's just, it's, it's, it's kind of a family atmosphere. Your family means a lot to us, so we have enjoyed getting to meet you. You too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You're all great people. Let me know. We've been discussing um, the conferences and what y'all can kind of pick up from the conferences, what's important to you about the conferences, and what your goals, upcoming goals are for the next year. So I'm going to let y'all share with our viewers. Hello, we're Joyful Half Acre. I'm Kim, and this is Rick and Ella, our youngest. And we are from Iowa, um, just sort of starting out. We garden and hoping to expand that a lot and get more animals. And um, we have really loved it here today, just getting to meet all the great people. There's so many wonderful people here. And just learning about building a log cabin and goats here soon. And and it's just been a great day. What are some of the animals that you're hoping to add? We have chickens right now, a few. The coons have eaten most of them, but we're planning on getting uh, meat birds, meat chickens next year, and a couple pigs to raise for meat, and possibly some goats. I'm trying to talk them into them for the milk. That's an awesome, awesome plan to have. What's your goal for this next year? Or what your goal oriented saying, okay, what have we accomplished this next year? And then secondly, what do you think about events like this? What do you like about the homesteading events? Do you find good community or do you find that knowledge that you learn from? So kind of elaborate on that. So we're gonna turn it over to you. All right. You wanna go ahead and start us off with what goal you have? Um, sure. Um, well, my biggest goal is to just move everything out past our yard. We have five and a half acres, and right now we're just using the one acre in the front that has our house and garage and all that stuff. And uh, we want to push it out past the fence into the pastures that we cleared last year. Well, I think we're looking at building... Uh, some new structures, some new barns. Yeah. Um, the structures that we have now, we put together with just every bit of scrap and anything we could find, anything that was on the property when we bought it, and they've worked great for us, and now we're ready, to, I think, to upgrade. So we'll probably be looking at tearing those old structures down, building some nice new modern structures for our animals, and then like she said, 
getting as many animals on those back hills as, as we can. So right now, everything is kind of in the acre that we have fenced in around our home, and I just feel like I'm surrounded, <laughs> and I'm looking for a little relief. So I need to get them a little bit further out, um, and then maybe maybe dig a pond in back there as well. Uh, and then obviously the expanding the garden every single year. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yes, especially for a large family, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now tell us what you think about yeah. these events. What do you What do you like about them? What you don't like about them? Or if they're all good? Or I love well. that she loves them a whole lot. <laughs> and so I come really, really to support her in this. Um, and... I guess what I get out of it is just, you know, meeting people, hanging out. Yeah. I hardly ever vlog or record events at, at events like this because I just want to have fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just hang out. Um, meeting a lot of other homesteading uh, and homeschooling families yeah. is super inspiring and encouraging. And I was able to encourage uh, a mother here today who was getting ready to homeschool. Yeah. I won't mention any names, but I had a, about a 10, 15 minute talk with her about that. Yeah. So it made me feel good just to be able to encourage someone else that, yeah, you can do it. You, right. God's already given you as a mom all the skills you need to love your babies and right. teach them and train them. So, I mean, to be able to do that meant a lot to me. What about you? I love talking to people, hanging out with like-minded people. I don't have very many of those around where I'm at, so when I come to these events, I just find my people. I can see a lot of people said a lot of the same things, and it, again, it, it shows the community that we're part of, and something that we really enjoyed about it was just, again, to see people, to kind of have that camaraderie, to have the community that I think all of us are looking for. But what I like about these next two um, was one thing that goes along with homeschooling for us that we're passionate about is uh, uh, homeschooling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of a lot of comments that people would make was about how these events and and you see that they it's community. It's being able to come together and and learn people and be able to build friendships. Um, but homeschooling is such a huge part um, because not only are these people investing in their lives and their families, but they're really investing and pouring into their children. And single dad was one of the ones that really um, talked about uh, his involvement in his child's life. And even Pine Knot. So you'll see both these families kind of talk about that too. Really? Of course, we're here with Chris with Single Dad Homestead, which has become, he lives in the, the best yeah. place in the world. <laughs> we're going to get these guys up there soon. That's right, that's right. But we're going to post the same question we posed to everybody else. Okay. What is your one year goal for your homestead or how you want to grow for this next year? For our homestead, and it, it's going to be, for this year, is going to be kind of funny because it's going back to what we started our channel about, and that's education for this one. Definitely. To get her uh, homeschool going full kick and to share that with YouTube and let people understand that if you truly want to change where we're at today in this homesteading community as well as our communities as a whole, take more interest in your kids. This year, I think that's going to be my goal. Um, I'm going to finish up the year with the hunting and providing meat for your homestead, even if you're in an apartment and you're apartment steading or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then next year is going to be really showing you can't correct in two or three hours a day as a parent what a school system's teaching your child in 10 to 12 hours a day. Uh, and that's not possible for everybody to homeschool, let me put this one down, um, to do that. So my goal this year is to concentrate on the homeschooling, put that out there, um, share what I'm doing, because I have severe dyslexia. Mm. You know, I do have a college education. I'm, I mean, I've went to college and stuff like that, but I'm not the smartest guy in the world. But if I can do it, anybody can do it. And to take that time, People say, I can't financially afford to do it. I can't do this. If there isn't anything worth more than your child's education and raising your child the right way, I don't know what else you can do. God gave us the ability to, to raise children and be prolific and to steward this land by the sweat of our brow. So that's that's my goal for this year. Hey, man. We <laughs> school four of our five. So absolutely. We, we absolutely yeah. so. it's, it's a great thing. Hey, I'm just glad to be able to actually meet you in person. I'm glad you're there, and we're going to get together soon, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> What do you think your one year goal is? So, if you come next year, you can tell us about it, but what do you think that you want to try to be successful at for this year? 
think one of the things that we've been trying to do with our homestead really is be more self-sufficient and kind of bring our boys more into the ability to take care of themselves. So in looking at that, I think we've also looked at how we can take care of them with the homeschooling thing. And I think that's our one year goal that we really is our big item is, is to get the homeschooling started and be successful with that and really try to, to get them uh, more on a one-on-one -on -one basis, you know. Yeah, and another big thing is we're almost there, but to completely not have to buy meat at the grocery store. Yeah. yeah. That, I mean, we've got the cows, and we done our first chickens the other day, but yeah. But and we actually, we're, we're raising the pigs right now, so we're going to be doing the pork this year. We've got the beef already that we've already done, so. I think that's I think I think within a year, we're pretty well. And we, we actually, we watched a video, we did a little meat processing area the other day, that we actually set up so we can do our own stuff at home a lot easier. So Just homeschooling and meat. Not hey, about meat store. That's. I'll be honest with you. We love homes homeschooling quite a little bit more than homesteading. So yeah. I know y'all be successful. Do you ever need anything? We love talking about it. We love it. We love it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Any time that you don't have to go to the store is a success to me. Oh, absolutely. I mean, honestly, absolutely. we know what. It's a good thing, and like I tell her, at least we know what we're getting them. We know absolutely. what we're feeding their kids. We know again if we have to, we can do it on our own. Yes. We don't need anybody. We, we don't have to depend on anybody. Yeah, and we're giving them the knowledge to be able to do the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah. My kids sometimes. That's not don't like working on the farm, but they're really good at it, and I think it's going to help them to be a better Exactly. Person. It definitely will. Definitely will. So, uh, in, in one year, we have evergreens all the way along our building and in the front of our building. And, well, on the side, it's like five feet plus the length. So, I would like those gone because they're kind of useless. And I'd like to have... Uh, some elderberry bushes and some columnar, columnar, I never can say that properly, apple trees, because that's about all we can put there. And some perennials and edibles. So just to make, to utilize all the space that we have. Definitely. We're from Chicago, so we don't have a ton of space. We have no grass in our backyard now because we've just added three beds on the lawn hey, two beds awesome. on the two, 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 two beds more beds on the uh, on the patio, patio. Um, and then as she was saying along the side of the house there's these trees that are just worthless um, you know rocks <laughs> and we have to pay to have them because they're so tall now we have right. to pay to have them trimmed so let's take them out they let's need to go out. so let's put food there that's right that's right hey that's awesome well, it's been great meeting you, and I know you're going around meeting everybody else, but it's been a great, great day, I think. Oh, it's been lovely. It's been a really good time. Met, saw some old friends and met some new people and got to meet some people that I'm, you know, in 3D, as they say. That's right. right? That's right. You feel like you know everybody, and all of a sudden you actually get to meet them. So. Yeah. Well, it's very good. It's it really nice to meet you guys, Thanks. guys too. All right. Well, we made it back into Pigeon Forge. We're almost back at our cabin. It has been a very eventful day to say the least. Everybody in the car is pretty well asleep. Um, we had an awesome time today. We are all very tired. Um, the ride home has been a little crazy. Um, Jennings cried almost an hour and a half of the three and a half hours until he finally went to sleep. And then Sailor puked everywhere. <laughs> so, um, quite an eventful drive back home. But we are almost back to the cabin and um, we are all ready to go to bed and call it a day. But we did have a good time and we're super glad we got to go. As you see, we got to meet a bunch of new people at the Stivers. All right, as you saw though, we're going to talk about the elephant in the room. Well, the chickens in the room, excuse me. So, <laughs> as you know, we've been worried about trying to get these meat chickens taken care of. You've seen in several videos, I feel like we've been like chicken, crazy. Chicken, 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 Yeah, like crazy <laughs> chicken man lady kind of thing. It's crazy. But as you saw, we can't thank uh, Alderman Farms enough, Miss Patty, for bringing over the chicks, taking care of them, and getting them set up as we were <laughs> in Knoxville going through all this area and uh, getting and everything taken Kentucky. care of. Yes, yeah, so I cannot thank uh, Alderman Farms enough. And again, uh, for us, this event was great. Just like the other events that we've been to, I think uh, as just the underlying 
um, benefit to these events is, is community. And not only that, it's to learn what other people are doing. You can learn from us or I can learn from someone else. And I think it's just a great, great, great event and a great experience. And I hope the ones that we did not get to talk to, because there's a lot of people there, I hope we can meet and uh, chat with them next time. Happy homesteading, y'all.